Welcome to the uh, the Gold Coast people. Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. Standing at the beach uh, of the uh, the Sheraton uh, Mirage Resort and Spa Hotel. So that's the beach here. It's a bit of uh, advertising going on for all the tourists. I think that's a bar here, a bar and restaurant. Presto. Unbelievable entertainment. Of helicopter. You can do helicopter tours around here as well. Yeah, a bit of free advertising there. Yeah, this is the beach. Pretty nice. Pretty good beach actually. Gold Coast Service Paradise is uh, just back there. Yeah, it's the helicopter. Yeah, that's a, all down there is uh, it's part of Gold Coast and uh, Service Paradise. They're adjacent uh, suburbs. The airport's uh, in that direction as well, south. Gold Coast Airport. It's about 12 miles. So I flew in uh, Singapore yesterday, or this morning. Left last night. And they do have a lifeguard. Lifeguard on duty. That is so Australian. There's a guy sitting in there. Beautiful, eh? Yeah, so welcome to the uh, welcome to the Gold Coast Fest in Australia, and uh, we're at the uh, Sheraton Mirage Resort and Spa. So I'll give you a tour of the place. Yeah, it's the helicopter going off. Lots of uh, sailing ships out in the distance there. Before we leave the beach, see them all. Nice windy, uh, clear day. See where they're going. No thunderstorms uh, create havoc with the waves. Alrighty, Gold Coast. Queensland. It's actually the border of Queensland and North South, New South Wales. It's around the southern tip of Queensland. Brisbane is about uh, 50 miles further north. That's the largest uh, city in the state. Queensland. Ready. So the hotel. Yeah, it's the Sheraton uh, Mirage Resort and Spa. It's the only uh, five-star hotel at the Gold Coast uh, with direct beach access. That's what I'm saying here. Like the beach, right? Yeah, there is a lifeguard out there. Watching proceedings, in case anybody drowns. Uh, I checked earlier if there were sharks in here, sharks in the water. There are nice big buildings out there, apartments, hotels and so on. I asked earlier and uh, the bellboy uh, asked me, sort of laughed it off and said, nah, nah, there's no sharks, yeah? But just recently, just down the coast, somebody got killed by a shark. I think two people by the same shark, so went hunting for it. Yeah, he, he suffixed the laugh saying, no, there are no sharks with, uh, what's well, the safest driving on the streets, yeah? So it's bad luck if, uh, yeah, it's a bit more of the coastline out there. Really hot, it's really hot here. 30 odd Celsius. It's Australian summer. Oh, the helicopter. Yeah, this is the hotel just over here. Just walking on the sand. Heavy sand. Walking in ice. Yes, the hotel. It's only three three floors. Sheraton Mirage Resort and Spa. Uh, you got the pool just there, and then uh, the lobby is further beyond. Lobby straight ahead. The pool there, and then rooms on either side. And the beach out there. Yes, yeah, the only five-star hotel, Gold Coast, with the direct beach access. It's actually on a spit of land. That, those buildings are on the actual main mainland of the Gold Coast. We're on a spit of land here. It's got the beach to one side and the lagoon. There's a lagoon on the other side. Yeah, it's the hotel. Pool and so on. Ready, let's just go in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not going to video in here because there's, uh, there's people kind of swimming, not wearing very much, and so on. If somebody could tell me how to cut, copy, paste uh, videos, I'd be very grateful. <laughs> but we're not going to make an effort to video in here. And if you can see the menu here for the poolside, uh, there's a swim-up bar, get cocktails, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's the main lobby of the hotel over there. 
to walk past. Show you, that's the, the main lobby. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. All these people. It's a lovely day, too. Australia in summer, to be enjoyed. Once we get out, this bit's just for hotel guests. Once we get out of here, we'll uh, video properly. There's a conference going on there. Yeah, there's a conference going on there. All those people sitting out there, I mean, it's the Queensland uh, Bar Association. They're all lawyers. Uh, so, yeah, quite ironic. All right. Uh, you will see all of that from a different position uh, better. I'm just going to walk into the room. We'll just turn back and have a look. Yeah, that's the main lobby of the hotel. I don't know how much of that came out clearly. Uh, I wasn't going to video people in the swimming pool. All right. To respect the people that you're staying with. Yeah, my room is just down here. We're on one side of the. Uh, there's. A, I'll show my iPhone the uh, hotel map. Although they do give you a map, but uh, the iPhone is interactive. Yeah, so you see some of the rooms. All these rooms. It's only three floors. I've got a ground floor one. Uh, it's not the room I booked. But again, you know, you check, I got the plane landed at Upper State in the morning. Got here about ten. Yeah, the sports center is just through there, I'll show you that as well. Yeah, we're in 1079. Sporting Aussies. That's my room there. With the Cricket World Cup going on. See that? Cricket World Cup. You get this little lagoon out here. That's my room. Let's go in and uh, we'll have a look at the room. My mum's here as well. Got holiday for a week. Holiday for a week. Uh, Australia, French Polynesia, all that kind of stuff. Sydney. So, all right, so we're going. It's the one. Sheraton. Yeah, I am an SPG member. Starwood preferred guest. How you doing? What's the score? 165. All right, Pakistan are playing South Africa. This is the room. It's a good, uh, good hotel room. But the best bit is, well, there's two best bits. One is the cricket. So it was a pleasure to watch the Cricket World Cup. And second is you get this little balcony here. It's very cute. Just walked along there. This hotel was built about 30 years ago. Um, it became Sheraton only a few years ago. It wasn't Sheraton to start with. Starwood took over the long-term management, uh, and I think someone tried to buy it for 170 million, 170 million Australian dollars, a couple of years ago. I think we said no as well. Yeah, it's because hotels like this generate a lot of uh, cash flow. We paid uh, 500 Aussie dollars a night, 500 Australian dollars a night. It's a lot of people here. Yeah, that's the view from the room. So why wouldn't somebody pay all that money to buy it? Just having a drink there. Why is it why it's raining? Right? Yeah. All right, where are we? iPhone. Google Maps. Sheraton Mirage Resort. So we start at the beach. It's my finger there. So there, we just cut in. Blue dots me. It's another five-star hotel called Palazzo Versace. There, the Sea World Drive Gold Coast. Just make it smaller. So Brisbane is. Uh, you look, it's a bit further up the coast. The Australia is a big country, yeah, so you have to do this a few times to get. Yeah, uh, and that's the story with Omar Akmal. Sunshine Coast. Ah, there's Brisbane. All right, Gold Coast is blue at me. Brisbane is there. Sydney is down here. Sydney. Uh, Great Barrier Reef is all that stuff there. Cairns, Townsville, that sort of area. Australia and the world. All right. So yeah. Two days, I'll be there. French Polynesia. Bora Bora and so on. Flight to Auckland, three hours, five hours there. This morning we came in from Singapore there, seven and a half hours to there, seven and a half hours. Yeah, all right. 
That's the place. Shut him as Mirage with his own spark, okay? I didn't see it, but he held on to it. Go coast. Place to do. You saw those buildings from the beach. There you go. Tourist ideas. You can do helicopter tours. Shopping. There's rides. They look like the Sydney Bridge Climb actually. And so on. Uh, this, one's, this one's more of an international magazine. It's got travel ideas around the world. It's quite good. You look at it and think, yeah, we'll go there next month or all these places. It's a good photo of Conrad in Bali, I saw. Never realised it was so good. All right. You go to one place, you get an idea for ten places. It's raining. It's in Auckland. They're playing in Auckland. What was the score? 165 Pakistan. Yeah, you get mini barn here. Men's stuff there. Whiskey and so on. All this stuff. Wine for the women as well. Get it to all tastes. Good stuff. Tea and coffee. You need a lot of water. So hot you just drip with sweat non stop. Running shoes. Bathroom. Alright. It's been used. Got off a plane this morning. So, uh, it's gonna have a shower and stuff, right? Sports fans, as always. It's a shirt and branded uh, stuff. Alright. So, you've seen the room? Soon we the Cricket World Cup. We'll continue our sporting theme. Show you one other last thing, S for Sheraton. S for Sheraton. So I still got my drink. Replace lost fluids. I'll be with a bit of strong stuff thrown in. So Holly, right? Okay, so we'll carry on with the walk. Yeah, you don't have to drip with sweat here. Now we have two options here, we can either go back the way we came or we can go past the sports centre, out the front of the hotel, back in through the lobby, which I think is the more adventurous route. So we'll do that. Yeah, that's my room. It's rain stop play. I got a recommendation from a friend on uh, YouTube. I'm drinking Gordon's, uh, Gordon's gin. To drink uh, Ophir gin. I'll have to find that on my travels somewhere between uh, Australia and the French Polynesian. So we'll just uh, walk outside. Yeah, actually tripping with sweat. Yeah, I'll get there to Stamford. We'll find that gin. All right, so this is the sports, uh, sports bit out here. Tennis courts and a gym. Hotel gardens. Gold Coast. It's a very relaxed place, yeah? I'm walking around with a video camera like this. So we'll step outside. So all that bit's for it's hotel guests only, yeah? I'm a hotel guest, so I got that. Yeah, the, uh, the gym. That's the gym just over there. And uh, Australia being the sporting country that it is, there's uh, tennis courts here, people playing tennis. It's always nice to see people, this heat, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, so uh, Gold Coast, or at least this bit is, it's on a spit of land, it's off the main bit. You saw the beach the other side, uh, and on this side is uh, just people playing tennis. There's uh, about 100 metres further along, there's a, a lagoon, lots of boats parked. I don't know if you can remember that from the iPhone. Uh, uh, you saw the pal Palazzo Versace Hotel, there were some boats, but boating stuff just beyond there. Alright, let's so just walk out the hotel. We're at the hotel from here. There's the street. Those are hotel tennis courts. Yeah, the gym. I don't know if you can make that out. It's, yeah, it's that, well, that building there. All right, it's beyond the tennis courts. It's the hotel. Oh, that's the helicopter tour place. Heli tours. I'm doing that in Sydney, so I'm not going to do it here. The helicopters in Sydney might be better maintained as well. Yeah, got some shops out there. So just walk out in the front, it's Main Street now, yeah? It's just, it's not in the hotel anymore. This is a shopping centre. Shopping centre in Gold Coast. We'll uh, just walk to the front end of the hotel and then walk back in through the lobby, yeah? 
That's the main entrance to the hotel, just up there. That's the place. Gold Coast's only five-star hotel with direct beach access. $170 million, and they said no. Yeah, that's the other five-star hotel, just over there. Just walk up to the, uh, the main uh, front sign of the hotel. The other one's called Palazzo Versace. Just over there. I'll show you that better. Bus here, connecting the... Uh, yeah, you really need a car here. Um, we got in this morning, the flight landed at 8.20. Tomorrow morning we're going to uh, French Polynesia, basically. Tahiti. Uh, taxi from the airport here is $60. 60 Australian dollars, it's quite expensive, yeah. Tomorrow the taxi to Brisbane Airport is 200 Australian dollars. Uh, but if we were staying for more than a day, I'd certainly hire a car. Yeah, that's the main entrance of the hotel. But just for a day, you know, you just bear the cost. Sheraton Mirage Resort and Spa, main, main uh, sign at the front of the hotel. All right, now I'll go back in. I'll show you the view from that bridge first. Yeah, it's day one of holiday today. Um, tomorrow is uh, French Polynesia for four days, and then uh, back to Sydney for three days, including uh, watching uh, England play England play at the SCG. England have got two games left in the World Cup, the first round. They have to beat uh, they have to beat both uh, Bangladesh and Afghanistan to get through to the next round. Today's Saturday, the seventh of March. They have to beat England. England have to beat uh, Bangladesh. I think it's on Monday and Afghanistan next Friday, and I'll be at the game next Friday at the SCG. It could be a crunch game. I'm sitting with the Barmy Army. Barmy Army. Barmy Army. Yeah. And if it gets close, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, so that's another nice five-star hotel. It's called Palazzo Versace. It's over there. Right across the street to mine, and this is SeaWorld Drive just here. SeaWorld Drive on this bit of land. That's the main uh, into the hotel there. Yeah, Shed make good hotels. They're part of... Uh, so those buildings are on the main mainland. And we're on a sliver of land. Yeah, Shed are part of Starwood Preferred Group, SPG. I remember. Uh, the only benefit I think I got today was uh, a complimentary free Wi-Fi access, the premium premium connection, fastest connection, free. Uh, we also got, she let us check in that early, just for becoming a member. It's not difficult, just give them your email address. All right, it's made into the hotel. If it tells me not to video, I'll just cut the video, all right? I've seen most of it. That's the drive-in down there. Yeah, you see the boats out there, the yachts? You see the tops? That's, that's in the lagoon. So I'll just uh, step inside. Yeah, that's the place. Those like a Mercedes. I just look cool and irresponsible walking in. I'm going to kick out to the lobby. Check in just over there. Now I'll show you the pool. I want to show you it uh, right up. It's a ba uh, Pearl's Bar. It's a hotel bar, yeah, but uh, it's a private function going on. Those two are getting engaged. I saw them earlier walking around. So they've closed that for the afternoon. That's the pool and the beach just out there. You see all those people sitting there having uh, food? That's our lawyers, uh, that's our doctors. I'm a doctor, right? That's our doctors and lawyers, that's how we eat. We just sit like casually, yeah? Whereas if you have a business meeting, you know? The professions, yeah, medicine and the law, are very simple people, yeah? Whereas if it was a business meeting, you know, any rubbish business, yeah? They'd be all in their suits and uh, creating a scene and so on. All right, let's go back to the room. 
Love it, love it, love it. It's like Oscar Wilde said, simplicity is the end result of all complexity. So true. It's the Queensland Law Association, yeah? Having a conference of some sort. Love it, boys. All right, let's go back to the room. Call it a day. Cut through the grass this time. I'm going to wade through the pool. That's the room there. Water on the edge. You're not supposed to, but I'm staying here. There. It's still raining, huh? Back. Alright, boys. Back where we started. Thanks for watching. Outfit is in. That's German for uh, see you next time. Bye.